Next, uh, next workspace is a bit simpler. The next one we're going to play with is the SQL Creator. I love this. Now, in the previous workspace, we were using actual readers to to read the data from the from the various uh, feature types or for the very various data sets. But the SQL Creator for databases is kind of an alternative to a reader. So it's yeah. a transformer, has no inputs. And you can you can treat it as a reader. But the cool thing about it is that you can set up the reader here yeah. and all of its parameters. Um, but then you can give it a SQL statement. So in this case, I'm going to say select star from city parks where name is Big Walnut Creek and alternative name is Greenbelt. Okay. So we're, we're supplying the database a SQL statement and we're yes. taking the results back and we're, we're, we're reading those results themselves. And you know, I noticed right here on the left hand side it says create published parameter. This would be where if you wanted to prompt somebody at runtime for the name, you could basically double click that, drag it in there, and now that puts a, a variable in there that would be filled in at runtime. In yeah. your case, you've hard coded it, which is totally cool. Oh, what are you doing there? You're um, pushing buttons at random, and let's see what. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so it's not happy with this. Um, that's okay. All right. That's probably why it was closed and black and grayed out. Yes. So we've set the, the SQL statement. Yeah. And we're reading from. Uh, I just let me show you. We're reading from the city parks that we just created, and then yeah. I just showed you in the inspector. So you're, you're looking to pull a very little, uh, very few things. Yeah. So let's run that quickly and see what we get. Lo and behold, we get just one park. Yes. If we click on the park, its alternative name is Greenbelt, and its name is Big Walnut Creek. And of Creek. course, that you could have a very complicated join going on in there. Exactly. And I know in your youth, you've done um, some Teradata joins with tessellated things to do spatial index stuff, and you could do it in there probably. Yes, you can, you, you can actually build a, a very complicated SQL query. And the nice thing about this is that uh, you, can, you can sort of build in your joins from multiple tables and we, we, what FME does is it, it takes all of that it, that uh, process and it dumps it on the database engine. Which is what Teradata lives to do. Exactly. Database, database, database engines are very, very fast at executing SQL, so yeah. we let them do it. Yeah. And then your FME machine doesn't actually have to do a whole lot of work. Yes. So that's the SQL creator. So there's you should show folks, Dave, how do you put a SQL creator down? Can you show them how oh, someone certainly. would do it if they're starting with a from blank? Sure. There's a, we have a transformer gallery here with a, the, the transformers. Now the all list you see has 504 transformers. Wow. That's, that's a lot of transformers. Um, we have a categorized list, which is somewhat nicer. There's nine database ones I saw. Yeah, so we have a whole bunch of uh, transformers in there. Database, there we have the different queries, SQL Creator, SQL Executor. If you want, you can double click this or you can drag and drop. But the way that I, I use all the time, and this is the yeah. coolest thing, is you want something SQL related, you just type SQL on the canvas, and it comes up with everything that starts with SQL. Right. We can pick a SQL creator there, and really, once you use this, you never go back to this yeah, right yeah. way. Yeah. And those of us in support, sometimes we have to use older versions of FME that didn't have this, and it, 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 it's hard. Yeah, you just type, once you know your handful of transformers that you use, you just type them and go. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that was the creator. That's pretty good, and basically lets people execute SQL. Yeah, and there's another SQL uh, transformer that we're going to use, as well as the SQL executor. Now, the difference between the SQL executor and the SQL creator is the SQL creator did not require uh, any input features. Right. The SQL executor uses input features, and what it does is it uses these input features as a trigger so that your SQL can interact with the feature that's coming in. Yes. So in this case, I have been given... Um, it looks like you've got a text file full of SQL statements. Pretty much, and I'll show you what it looks like right here. So this is somebody... Uh, I've been sent a, a whole lot of SQL statements. Um, oh, we're just going to play them back. Yeah, in this case, we're just using it as a SQL player. Right. So the whole, there's a create table, a whole lot of inserts, and then at the end, end which is kind of cool, it creates this really funky view that has a really complex SQL to create. Got it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to read all these and feed them directly to the, uh, the, the Teradata. So, well, so, yeah. Okay. So in the SQL executor, I've got the, the standard reader, SQL, uh, the SQL reader here. Now, even though we're kind of writing... Uh, things to the the, yes. the 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 database we use a SQL reader or we, we use a database reader here right. rather than a writer. It doesn't really know what, that we're up to while yeah. SQL. Yeah. So what it's it's doing is it's going to take the information from your from your from your input feature. It's going to send it to the reader and then it's going to expect to get features back. And it's going to be surprised when it gets none, but it's not going to be too stressed. Yeah. It doesn't worry about it. Yeah. So you can use this both for. Um, 
doing queries based on existing features. Say you have a uh, you have a feature that uh, has certain attributes, and you want a matching feature uh, in your database that has those attributes, or that has some matching attributes, and you want to join them together. You can do that. Or in this case, if you just want to feed a bunch of housekeeping SQL to your database. Yes. Now, Which, normally you wouldn't be reading the whole SQL statement. Often you're gluing one together from various pieces inside of your database. But this is just a nice, simple example. Yeah, and, and you have options to this. And then here, I've just said to this attribute value. Yes. You can also open up an editor where you can pick the feature attributes. You can pick public yeah. parameters. You can pick feature functions. You can actually build up your whole SQL statement uh, through here using all the, the, the information from various parts of FME. You can just pump some SQL straight in there and, yep. uh, and create something. So what is this actually creating? It's creating a, a table. It's populating the table, and it's creating a couple of views. And this is... It's one of the views is that tessellated oh. uh, indexed view that I don't really understand much, but is really cool in Teradata. Yes, there you go. So you did it. So, so one of the things we're going to do here is we're going to pop back to our, our happy friend, the data inspector, and we're going to close this out. And I'll show you what we can also do is we can read not only tables, but let's go back here and I'll show you. The last line here, we created a view called customer AOI. Okay. So we created a view. That's not a table, but you notice that it shows oh. up in our data inspector. Yes, so we can read views as well as tables. That's a happy thing. So, and again, the the okay. all the horsepower behind the view is yes. all being dumped on the database engine where it, where it belongs. Yeah. So it's almost like a a little SQL creator, but you know, yeah. a permanent view. Yeah. Yeah. And again, we can read these points, and it's got the the attributes and our stores and customers and things. Yep. Yeah, so all the attributes of the view are, are available. Got it. Okay, so let's close this down. So that was your executor and showing views.